I don't think it's a huge surprise that me, Justin Smoke, and the 40,000 plus fans rocking the blue cowboy hats were big fans of Country Day yesterday. But for John Gibbons, he had more than just his managerial duties to tend to. But I find totally when I put this car in drive, the, the skipper took his spot in the dugout early yesterday to watch the pregame show, and not just because he enjoys a little live music. That's Jordan Gibbons, his 24-year-old daughter, and the lead singer of Southtown. The San Antonio-based group got to kick off Country Day at the Rogers Center to their biggest audience yet. It was so much fun. The crowd was great. Um, yeah, there was a little bit of anxious feeling go, working up to it, but once we got um, the first song done, we kind of got into a groove and just enjoyed and had fun with it. Pretty legit gig, especially considering she only started taking music seriously two years ago. And it was her dad, John, that got her interested in the first place. I got my love of music for him, from him for sure. He um, always played, you know, the great country uh, guys growing up and guys and girls and um, big George Strait fan, Alan Jackson, um, all those legends, you know, um, growing up is what I listened to. What's your dad like when he's not managing the Blue Jays? Because I think that's what everyone always wants to know. With him, what you see is what you get. He's the same guy in here that he is at home and, you know, kind of unfiltered. And sometimes I'm like, Dad, can't really say that in front of, you know, but he, he's the best. We, we love him. We all went to dinner with him after the game. And, um, yeah, he's the best. Jordan's been around the team and Toronto since she was nine years old when John was brought on as a bullpen catcher and eventually moved up to his first stint as bench boss. Two seasons ago, Jordan wrote this message on a whiteboard in her dad's office. Two seasons, the Blue Jays made the playoffs. Well, in the offseason, it was accidentally erased, so a new message was in the works on her latest visit. He said, you know what, I want you to write something in permanent <laughs> marker this time. I'm like, Dad, I probably shouldn't write it in permanent marker. He's like, it's fine. They'll get a new whiteboard if That's I get it. fired. So what did you write? So I wrote just, hey, Dad, uh, best of luck on the season. We love you, and so hopefully it'll bring him some good luck. That's fantastic. All right, so what's the deal with Southtown? I asked Jordan where they came up with the name. She was saying it's an area in San Antonio that they've performed a lot. It was really tough to pick a band name, and that just seemed to fit. So that's what they went with. And, of course, that wasn't their only performance here in Toronto. They were at the legendary Horseshoe Tavern on Saturday night, opening up for the Rio Statics, where they played seven songs. If you like their tunes, check them out online. Of course, Southtown Music on Twitter, and they have a website as well. Jordan was really great and nice to have her here at the Rogers Centre. I'll have a little more on tonight's matchup against the Reds coming up in sports.